Bumblebees have been pollinating plants on our planet for over a hundred million years, helping to provide humans and other animals, both living and extinct, with food, flowers, and even trees. In part one of my two-part series on disappearing bumblebees, we'll take a closer look at the importance of these insects and what they mean to our environment. We'll also take a look at some of the reasons that they're disappearing in large numbers. So if you lose your bees, you start losing something very essential to all of the terrestrial ecosystems on this planet. Tor Hansen is a biologist and author of Buzz, The Nature and Necessity of Bees. So I've always looked for ways to chase after bees in my work and in my daily life. You can also say he's a bee enthusiast in not only his understanding of these insects, but also in his relationship with them. And you'll notice that those balls of pollen are dark purple, almost blackish in color. Hansen says these pollinators are an important part of not only evolution, but also in our everyday lives. The importance of bees has to do with this long co-evolutionary relationship with flowers. The flowering plants dominate our flora. Now it's hard to imagine a flora that is different, but before bees evolved and co-evolved with the flowers, our flora was very different. But with millions of years of pollination under their wings, bumblebees' numbers have sharply declined over the past few decades. Hansen cites his four Ps for what's behind the decline of these insects. Those being uh, pesticides, pathogens, parasites, uh, and what's called poor nutrition, which takes a bit of explaining in that we're talking about the lack of flowers in the landscape. The great changes that we've seen in how we farm and how we live that has reduced the amount of habitat for bees, even in rural places. And like so many other environmental problems, climate change can also be added to the list of challenges that these pollinators are facing. Plants are blooming earlier, things are getting really hot, things are getting really cold, we're getting more storms, and that's changing when, when flowers bloom and how bees interact with those flowers. Rich Hatfield is a biologist with the Xerxes Society for Invertebrate Conservation that's based out of Portland. Behind honeybees, bumblebees are the most important native pollinator that we have. Hatfield cites loss of habitat due to human activity as one of the biggest reasons for the decline in bumblebee numbers. We've converted our grasslands and meadows into farm fields, and those grasslands and meadows and prairies used to provide flowering resources for 20 weeks out of the year, and a farm field only provides flowering resources for one or two weeks. Along with loss of habitat, pesticides are also an obvious factor, but the Xerxes Society has been working with farmers not only here in the Pacific Northwest, but across the country as well. Helping farmers to establish um, economic thresholds for the use of toxic insecticides. Um, insecticides are sort of a tool that we should have in our toolbox when there's an economic disaster that's potential from them, but we shouldn't be using them prophylactically. Ann Potter is a biologist with the Washington State Department of Fish and Wildlife. In many cases, there are common threats. She says other species of bees, including honeybees, are partially to blame. Diseases that are spread from managed pollinators, including honeybees. Honeybees are not native to North America, and so these native bumblebees are being exposed to pathogens that occur in honeybees. 